presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, true to Jungle Jim's prediction, Anna arrived to make sure the Purple Triangle cause was avenged. Shanghai Lil took matters into her own hands and started to wreak her own private vengeance on the woman who had captured her a few days before. But Jim managed to separate the two women, and finally Shanghai Lil and Kolu took Sergei and Anna back to General Fu Young Sen. As soon as they left, Hawkins continued his story and told how his boy Ronald was shell-shocked in the war and had disappeared. Hawkins said he had been searching all over the world for him, and when last heard of, his son was reported to be in the jungles of India. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. As Jungle Jim announces his decision to go to India, Peter Hawkins' mouth drops open in amazement. Mr. Bradley, sir, what's this? You're going to take me to India to find my son? That's right, Hawkins. Oh, I say now, Governor, that's blinking decent of you. But to up off to Mandalay would take a wad of tin. Mm, the money doesn't bother me. Huh? You see, I've just made $50,000 for a little job up there in the hills. What? Breaking up that Purple Triangle revolution. Fifty? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over 10,000 quid. Well, that's a what a tin, Governor. That was a tough job. Well, you won't want to be throwing your hard-earned money around for something you don't even know, Governor. I know character when I see it, Hawkins. And you're 100% okay. Thank you, sir. Besides, I'd like to do something I really want to do for a change. That money's mine to spend as I like. And I'd like to take a trip to India. I've never been in the jungles there. Well, as for that, Governor, I've never been in the jungles anywhere. Oh, you don't know what you're missing, Hawkins. No, sir. You won't have all this noise and confusion and dirt of the so-called civilized city. It'll be quiet and peaceful. Uh, At night, it'll be so quiet you can actually hear the silence. Blimey, that'll be a novelty, Governor, hearing nothing. Gosh, Hawkins, I'm getting all steamed up just thinking about India. I can't wait to get there. Me neither, Governor. The sooner we get there, the sooner I find my Ronnie. Right. Now tell me, Hawkins... Where was your son when you last heard of him? Well, uh, that Indian wasn't terrible definite, but uh-huh. he, he said he saw Ronnie in the jungles of Upper Burma somewhere. Upper Burma, eh? Yes, sir. Well, let's get the old atlas out and see where we're heading. Okay. Now, here it is. Ah, here we are, Upper Burma. Hmm. Well, that certainly covers a good chunk of territory. You're quite right, Governor. Strike me pink. You are realized how indefinite that blooming Indian was when he set in the jungles of Upper Burma. Let's see. The central point we ought to make for is Mandalay. Yes. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here, here it is. At the end of the Irrawaddy River. Yes. So I see, sir. Uh, listen, Hawkins. How soon can you be ready to leave Shanghai? Lord bless you, Governor. I can start right off this very minute. Oh, that won't be necessary. There are a few things to be done first. I'm going to see about transportation. You look up that Indian and get more details about your son. Right, out, sir. A short time later, Jungle Jim dashes back to his hotel suite and surprises his faithful Kolo by saying... We're going back to the jungle, Kolo. Burawani? No, not Burawani, Kolo. This time, it's going to be to a new jungle we've never been in. Well, jungle, Twan? We're going to India. And we leave for Mandalay tonight. So we'll step on it and pack our dud. I'll help you lay them out. Yes, it's one, Jim. Gosh, I'm so excited I can hardly see straight. It's going to be swell living out in the open again. Boy, I tell you, Kolo, cities seem to depress me. I like the wide open spaces. I always have I always will, I guess. Yes, it's one. Here. Here's my old cartridge belt. Oh, this little hunk of leather sure has seen service. And this is, boy, it's going to feel good getting it slung around my waist again. Put it away carefully, Colo. Yes, it's one, Jim. And uh, 
Here's my supply of khaki shirts. Maybe I'd better get a few new ones. Oh, that must be old Hawkins coming back. See what it is, Colo. Yes, it's one. And uh, run out and get me some new shirts. Yes, it's one. Well, looks like you're breaking up your happy home, Jim. Oh, Lil. Sure. Who were you expecting? Old Hawkins. Well, I'm glad it's you. That's the first time I've heard you say that all by yourself. There must be something wrong. Nope. <laughs> everything's fine and dandy, Lil. I'm going back to the jungle. Oh, Jim. Not Burrowani. Say, is Burrowani the only place in the, the world that's known for its jungle? No. I'm not going back there, Lil. We're leaving for Mandalay tonight. I've chartered a plane. Mandalay? Well, that's in India. Right. Step to the head of the class. What on earth are you going there for, Jim? We're going to search for Peter Hawkins' shell shock son. He was last seen in the jungles of Upper Burma. That's too bad. About his being shell shocked? Yeah. No, about his being seen at all. What do you want to go poking your nose into somebody else's business all the time? Oh, wait for? a minute, Lil. Can't you stay here and spend that fifty thousand having some fun? <laughs> well, Lil, I'll have more fun spending it this way. Oh. I'm sick and tired of doing things because other people want me to. Hawkins hasn't asked me to help him find his son. He just told me a story. And he's made me want to help him. And I hurried back to Shanghai thinking we could be together for a nice long time. Well, I'm afraid that's out for now, Lil. So I realize. Jim. Uh, yes, Lou? If I resign from the Chinese Secret Service, will you take me to India with you? You're not serious. I never was more serious in my life, Jim. Oh, don't be foolish, then. Here you're going like a house of fire on General Fu Young Sen's assignments. You're his ace Secret Service agent. Why, you've got a great career ahead of you. You can't throw it away for nothing. For nothing? Sure. What could you possibly get out of this trip to India? Can't you understand? No, I can't. Jim, I... I love you. What? You're all that matters to me. For you, I'd give up everything. For you, I, I'd go to the end of the earth. Don't talk silly nonsense, Lil. Silly nonsense? Yes. So that's how much my love means to you. But, Lil... <laughs> Here, I'd tear out my heart and lay it in your hand... And all you've got to say is, don't talk silly nonsense. Now, wait, Lil. I meant that you... You said what you meant, all right, and I heard every word. <laughs> At last I realized what a fool I've been. Please, Lil, I've will loved you... you blindly all these months, thinking of you and worrying about you, planning how I could help you safely through the dangers I knew were ahead of you. You have helped me, And Lil. now, all the thanks I get is, don't talk silly nonsense. Lil, wait. Wait, where are you going? What do you care? It's none of your business. Lil! From now on, I don't ever want to see your face again. I don't want to hear your name spoken. Now, just a minute, this Lil. This is the absolute end of everything between us, Jim Bradley. Lil! Lil, let me explain. Lil! Hello. Hello. What's been happening between you and the lady, Governor? Oh, never mind. Lil! Wait. Hey, Lil, come back here. I don't want to be too forward, Governor. But if I'm any judge of human nature, you can't whistle that lady to wheel and have her obey. Why, she nearly knocked me down the way she hopped out of here and started down the stairs. Yeah, I guess you're right, Hawkins. I guess I was pretty blunt in what I said to her. I'm sorry she took it like that. I'll try to see her before I leave and explain things. Well, how did you make out, Hawkins? Well, did you see your Indian? That's what I'm back about, Governor. Yeah? I couldn't find him. No? He'd moved and didn't leave no forwarding address. Mm, gosh. That's going to make things tougher, isn't it? I was sort of counting on getting our bearings from him. Yes, so was I, sir. What are we going to do now, Governor? Oh, that must be Lil back for her bags. Just a second, Hawkins. Well, hello, Bradley. Oh, Cooper. Well, may I come in? Yes, yeah, sure. Hey, what's this old Cooper stuff? Am I buttoning in on something? Oh, no, 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 of course not. I'm sorry, old man. I just thought it was somebody else at the door. Oh. Somebody I had a little misunderstanding with. Yeah. Well, I thought you'd come back to let me explain. Come on in, come on in. Oh, thanks. Uh, you remember old Hawkins? Oh, sure enough. Howdy. Uh, good day, Mr. Cooper, sir. Hey, you moving out of here, Bradley? I see your stuff's all laid out. <laughs> right. Hawkins and I are going to India to look for his son. To look for his son? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that is, if you still want to, Governor. Oh, of course I still want to. Just because we can't find that Indian hunter around town, I'm not going to give up the trip. Hey, what Indian hunter is that, Bradley? Oh, some Indian who saw Hawkins' son in Upper Burma. We hope we could get more definite information out of him, that's all. Well, his name is Bhutan. Bhutan? Did you ever hear of him, Mr. Cooper? Ever hear of him? Why, well, I was talking to him just the other day. Really? Sure enough. He just got back from India. Where's he staying, Sid, you know? Yes, he's at the International Club. Hawkins, you get over there as fast as you can. Right, oh, Governor. Here's where I find out exactly where my Ronnie is. <laughs> A few
few minutes later, Hawkins enters the rooms of the much sought after Hindu hunter from India. Well, Sahib, to what do I owe the honor of this visit? Well, uh, Mr. Bhutan, uh, do you remember once telling me about seeing my son Rani over there in India? Yes, I remember. Well, uh, I've been looking all over for you, sir, to find out a, a little more definite information as to where he is. That's why I'm here, sir. I see. I'm very sorry to disappoint you, Saib. But I am unable to give you more definite information. Well, I've heard that you've just come back from India. That is correct, Saib. I have been on another hunting expedition. Oh, well, then, haven't you heard any news about my son? Unfortunately, no. Uh. Just as I told you before, there was a white man. An Englishman seen wandering in the jungles of Burma. He was reported to be out of his head. Uh, hasn't he been seen since? This last visit of mine was not to the same part of my native country, Saeed. Ah, oh, now. Now, look here, Mr. Bhutan. You've just got to help me. You've just got to, sir. I've been searching the world over for ten years looking for my Ronnie. You've got me hopes up of his whereabouts by telling me he's up a Burma, and now you say you don't know where he is. I am sorry, Saeed. At the time, your story of your lost son brought to mind the reports I had heard concerning this strange Englishman. Yeah. It seemed to me there was the most astonishing resemblance between the two. Now, hold up now, hold up. Are you trying to say <laughs> that maybe it ain't my Ronnie after all? Saib, I cannot be sure that it was your son. Well, you was mighty sure when you told me about him before, sir. Oh, could it be possible that you so interpreted my remarks? Well, now... Nah. Besides, forgive my rudeness. How can you go to India and search without money? Oh, that's all right, sir. The kindest bloke I ever met is going to take me. We're leaving tonight by airplane for Mandalay. Indeed. Oh, very interesting. And who is so foolish as to waste his money on such a chase? Jungle Jim Bradley, the greatest blooming hunter in the old wide world. Jungle Jim Bradley? Yes, sir. I thought that'd make you open your eyes. Well, I've got to be on my way. You may not be able to help us, but we're going anyhow. Give me room 420, please. Jungle Jim Bradley, eh? Hmm. Uh, Gunga Dora, Peter Hawkins has just been here to find out about his son. I tried to convince him it was hopeless, but Jungle Jim Bradley has agreed to finance an expedition to Burma. They are leaving tonight by plane. The Society of the Tiger's Claw must prevent their leaving the jungle alive. Bhutan has spoken. So Jungle Jim, Kolo, and Peter Hawkins board the chartered plane at Shanghai, Mandalay bound. The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. You will laugh at the crazy capers of the Katzenyammer kids, and chuckle at the laughable antics of Skippy, and possibly feel a sympathetic tug at your heartstrings when Maggie discovers some trickery on the part of Jiggs in bringing up father. There is also Barney Google, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See all these interesting characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>